Good morning, everyone. It is chaotic Wednesday here. and moderately chaotic at our house. Um, moderately we, is chaotic. All right, no we're ready for yoga. I'm glad you're making it here. I'm making it here, ready to be ready for a yoga time with you. So set up with your mat, and we are going to use a towel today, mostly for standing on, okay? Um, <laughs> Lance wants to go straight to Shavasana. Carrie Ann is going to do her hair. It's going to be amazing. We're going to have great yoga. I don't know what's happening at your house, but great yoga is happening here. Okay. Towels. Towels. Take a seat. On your towel. Yeah. Send your legs out away from you. Expand your toes out. Point them away from you. Pull them back towards your face. Draw your right knee in. Make it parallel to the front edge of your mat. Draw your left knee in. And set it right, your left shin right in front of your right shin. Push the shins towards each other. Press the outside edges of your feet down. Put your hands on your knees and push back a little bit to get your rib cage to move back, those low ribs to move back. Lower your elbows and think about the center of your chest lifting up. Deepen your throat back. Close your eyes or allow your gaze to become a little bit soft. Unfocused. And take three more breaths. the hands together in front of your heart. Lift your heart up and bow your head. Whatever your intention for practice is today, whether you're coming here to get stronger or to become a little bit more centered or just to take a break from whatever's going on, more flexibility, just honor that. Acknowledge today I will. And then release your hands. Lift your head. Let your eyes flutter open. Okay. Feet. I want to start with the feet. So bring your, um, yeah, with your naked feet, hopefully. Yeah. Bring your right foot up into your lap to the best of your ability. And if it doesn't quite get up into your lap, then you can set it on a book or something near you. Okay, and then I'm noticing my feet are so nice and clean, kidding. I want you to start to rub from the inner heel towards your big toe mount. So just with your right thumb, just move. Strip that three times. So it's just a squeeze, a squeeze, and pull. And then do the middle of the foot. Squeeze and pull from the center of your feel, heel to the space between your second and third toe. And then you can do the far edge with your right hand. I like it better with my left hand. So I take the left hand thumb and I move from the outside edge of the foot to the pinky toe. Just a couple of times. And then you're gonna grab the sides of your foot and you're gonna wiggle it out. So the feet are the place in our body that touches the earth. And that's like a total no duh. But um, it is a place where we have a lot of nerve endings. It's the, it's the terminus of our, um, grab your toes and shake your foot up. It's the terminus of our nervous system. So there's a lot of stuff that ends here. Go ahead, you're gonna take your thumbs and you're gonna walk across the pad of your, of your uh, toe mound. So you just walk, 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 walk. 
And you are your own massage therapist here, so you can be as firm or as gentle as you wish to be. And then right where the color ends, so where the, that there's a strip in the foot that is, you know, touches the earth. I want you to go below that space, so below that space, and squeeze upward. So you're going to squeeze up into that space. And then walk into the arch of your foot. So this is where the um, nervous system ends. I'm taking the heel of my left hand and just rubbing in the arch of the foot. Do something that feels good. Grab your heel, rotate, just mobilize the foot, okay? Wiggle it around. Yeah. And then I like to grab and throttle my foot. You can imagine who else you want to be throttling right now. <laughs> <laughs> the throats are being cleared in my direction. Okay, send your la uh, right leg away from you and your left leg away from you, and close your eyes. And just notice if you have more sensation on one side than the other side. And then let your eyes come open. And let's do the same for the left foot. So draw it up, you can cross it across, or you can give yourself a little landing mark and we'll um, we're just going to do those strips so from the heel to the big toe mount Shoot. pull out through the big toe a couple of times a lot of this is just moving in the lines we're moving in the lines that the muscles run in when we're doing this action then go from the center of the heel to the space between the second and third toe And then I like to switch hands at this point and go from the outer edge of the heel through my pinky toe. And pull on your toes a bit. Each one gets a little pull. Bringing blood flow into the feet. And now let's work the ball of the foot. Just walking your thumbs. I start at the center and walk out to the edges. But really, it's your body. Do something that feels good. And then push up from the part that the bottom of the arch towards the ball of the foot. Push up into that space. Whew, and maybe you got a spot that needs a little loving. Mm -hmm. Maybe getting a phone call. Walk into the arch of your foot. And then grip your heel. And shake it around a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to grab the ankle. Shake the foot out. Shake the foot out. Send your left leg away, send your right leg away, and feel the feet. Okay, uh, let's see. Notice if you're getting more sensation in one side than the other side. I'm, I haven't been able to get too far in the fireplace. Um, I've just been piled up. Uh, call the office in terms of skin. Let your eyes come open. You can use your hands as little props back behind you. We're going to do some footwork here. And I'm going to sit at an angle so maybe you can see. Okay? So um, your hands can go back behind you. You can sit on your towel or your blanket. Expand your toes out and pull them back towards you. And then point your toes away. Extend your ankle joints. And then draw back and point away. And draw back and point away and draw back. Now keep the draw back and scrunch your toes up like you're making a little fist. Hold on just a moment. I'll be right Yeah, no kicking. No kicking. There's no kicking. No punching with feet in yoga. You could be hanging out with her. Okay. And then. Oh, 
Yeah. Just a wiggle. And then open your feet. Can we talk? Okay. Now point the toes away. Uh, excuse me. The feet extend the ankle joints, but draw the toes back at you. And that may feel like, oh yeah, super easy, Sarah. Or it may feel like, I don't know. <laughs> So this is, we're going to use this later. This is um, what call, it gets called sometimes a floint. So we're extending the ankle joints, but we're pulling the toes back towards us. A flexing point, a floint. A floint. A floint. A floint. She figured it out. Okay. Now relax and feel the feet. And we're going to start some ankle circles. So let's go, uh, let the toes go in towards each other. And then fall away and go in towards each other and fall away and go in towards each other and fall away. And if you want more sort of work feeling in the body, if you let go of the hands, you could even reach them overhead, um, you will get more work in through the core. So if you're feeling like, this is boring yoga, I'm not doing enough, well then don't relax back. Okay? Now start circles. So we'll go in opposite circles. Around. I know a lot of people in our neighborhood are taking walks, which is so good that maybe that's not the form of exercise you're used to. So just notice as you're changing up your routines how your body is responding. Go ahead and switch the direction of your circle. And then we're gonna go super slowly. So start, and we're gonna to go to the right. Both feet are gonna go to the right. To the right. Extend away. To the left. And back at your face. So hopefully, as you're going slowly, you're getting a few more signals in your body about what is needing some work. Okay, and let's go back the other way. So come up neutral, go left, super slowly, point away, over to the right, upright, away, up, let's go one more time. Sometimes slow feels like a deep relief, and sometimes it feels hmm, not so much like a relief. Okay, let everything just play side to side, side to side, mobilize. Okay, now we're going to do a little bit into the hips here. So start shifting side to side, and I want you, I'm going to walk towards the camera, that's what I'm going to do. I want you to walk with your butt and your feet, so you're going to move forward. Yeah, so you're walking with the heels of your bottom, and then we're going to walk backwards with the heels of our bottom. Fubo wasn't into that. So the heels of our bottom are our ischial tuberosities. Those are the um, those two bony protrusions. Let's go forward again. If you have a lot of space, you could keep going, but you know you might get to the. You might get to your camera or whatever you're using, your phone, your computer, walk back. Carrie Ann's going to take over the world over here. One butt scoot at a time. One butt scoot at a time. All right. She's going to take the front mat. I'm going to take the back mat. Okay. Once you've walked back to wherever you're going to practice, take your feet a little wider. And this is this is work for the knees and for the hips. Okay? Turn the feet out as wide as you can make them. So and you may notice one side really goes far and one side not so far. Alright? And then either hands back behind you for a little support or look ma no hands. You're gonna reach your right leg up. And then you're gonna set it down. And you're gonna lift it up. And you're gonna set it down. And you're going to lift it up, and you're going to set it down, and then you go to the left. Up, and down, and up, and down, and up, and down. Now, we're going to go up and over. Imagine, so I just so happen to have a block here in my space, so I can show it to you. But imagine you have a block. We're going to try to clear 
about four inches of space. You can always think, no, four inches is too much, I'm gonna to go to the three inch side. Or if you're really gunning for it today, and you're gonna go for the eight inches, you can. So carry hands going for it. All right, so with the toes turned out, lift your right leg up, take it over your actual block or your imaginary block. Up and over. Flip them on, no hands, yeah. One more time, up and over. Okay, move your imaginary block or your real block over to the left leg. Turn those left toes out, lift the left leg up, take it over, and bring it back. I like an inhale as I lift up and an exhale as I come down. We've got one more journey, up and over, up and over. Try to keep those toes turned out, out okay? Now we're gonna switch the orientation of things, okay? So just move your block, your book, whatever you're using out of the way. And we have the toes come totally straight upright. Lift the leg up and set it down. Left leg up and set it down. Right leg up and set it down. Left leg up and set it down. Right leg up and set it down. Left leg up and set it down. Now if you're using the block, bring it back in. Right leg up and over and return up and over. See how still the rest of your body can be while you're moving your right leg. Yeah, my lower back doesn't like this. If your lower back is giving you conversation, sit higher. Okay, move your block, your book, your imaginary block or book to the uh, left side and we'll lift up and over up and return, up and over, up and return, Fugo, up oh, and over, up and return. Okay, wobble around a little bit. I suggest yes. Okay, you want to use a physical block? Now, move your block out of the way, your book, whatever you're using, and we're going to internally rotate. So internal rotation, some of us have a lot of internal rotation, some of us have not very much. And you wanna make sure, so like I can cheat, I can really move the ankles, but I'm gonna work on making sure that my ankles are an extension of my leg, so I'm not gonna go as far as I can make it look like I can turn it. Right leg lift up, set it down. Left leg lift up, set it down. Right leg up and set it down. Left leg up and set it down, right leg up, and set it down. You should feel a slightly different set of muscles as we're working in internal rotation than we did when we were in external rotation. So let's just test that. Go ahead and turn the legs of the feet out again. External rotation, lift the right leg, lift the left leg. We should, when we're lifting in external rotation, we should feel more of it in the inner line of the leg. When we're in internal rotation, we should feel more on the outer line of the leg, more of the lateral leg. So just test that. Now we're gonna try for the up and over. So right leg up, take it over and bring it back. Left leg up, take it over, return. Right, up, over, See, I have the imaginary, so I'm switching side to side, but you guys, my people here have stationary blocks, so they can do one side at a time. Left. Right. And final time with the left. Feel all that space. And then let's take the fingers and jiggle the meat of the legs. So. I give them doing a squeeze and squeeze and mobilize. Squeeze and mobilize the thighs, okay? And then a little squeezing around the kneecaps feels pretty good. So you're sort of getting, and when you're touching the um, fronts of your shins, you're touching your hamstrings, which is sort of an interesting idea. You're touching the backs of the legs, the muscles that um, live in the backs of the legs. All right. Legs should pretty feel uh, pretty lively right now. Let's get 
into um, Baddha Konasana, so soles of the feet together. Yeah, this feels better from my back. This feels better? Good. Mm -hmm. Rock around in a circle. And then move the other way. Think about posterior tilt of the pelvis, anterior tilt of the pelvis. We're going for, we're moving towards that anterior tilt of the pelvis. When we're going towards that, I'm going to give you a side view. When we're going towards the anterior tilt of the pelvis, we're also looking for the uh, rest of the spine to follow. So for many of us, when we start to fold forward, this Pelvis is stuck in a posterior tilt, and we're bringing our head to, uh, we're just bringing our head closer to the floor. What I want you to feel happening is this lengthening of the front and back bodies as we extend, and then as we bend towards the earth, keeping the sense of extension through the spine. So now the pelvis is going into an anterior tilt. If the reality of the matter is, is that your pelvis doesn't do an anterior tilt yet, then you stay with that. You say, hey, my pelvis does not do an anterior tilt yet. And you allow yourself to lean back a bit. And you own that posterior tilt. If you've got more, we're gonna go down for five breaths. So let's all start with the fingertips back behind us. Roll the shoulders back, draw the rib cage back, lift the center of the chest, and start to sneak the hands towards your hips. Keep pressing down into the finger pads to lengthen the spine. Keep your tailbone moving towards the floor. Keep your ischial tuberosities, maybe your hands come towards your shins, moving into the floor as you begin to sneak forward okay if you discover that your pelvis is not coming with you then resist the urge to go any further back yourself up go to a place where you can press your fingertips down draw the shoulders back and deepen your chin back because a lot of the times we get into reaching with the chin which just then shortens the back of the neck so if you're not sure if that's happening then mobilize your head. Let yourself sort of go side to side and notice if there's tension in your neck. Push down through your ischial tuberosities, lift up through your belly. Maybe you bend your elbows towards your knees or your shins. Inhale, come on upright, help your knees together. And we're gonna go ahead and roll over now onto our backs and we're gonna take a little work on the back before we come up to standing. So take your constructive rest space, lying on your back, feet flat on the floor, knees up towards the sky. I'm gonna get... Okay. And let's do some gentle work into the uh, hip flexors first. We've been doing some firmer stuff, pulling them in. So let's, no hands, right knee into your chest as you exhale. Inhale, put your right foot back on the floor. Exhale, left knee into the chest. Inhale, foot back to the floor. And I just, I want you to go through that cycle about three more times, right and left and right, and left, and one more right, nice, and left. Just softening things in the pelvis. Now, moving through bridge pose three times. So your arms are gonna come down by your sides, and you're really gonna try to plant from your shoulder 
through your elbow into the floor. Inhale, lift your hips up. So if you've got a towel behind your head, take it out. Exhale, lower back down. So you're just moving in and out. Inhale, lift your hips up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift your hips up. Exhale and lower down. No hands, draw your right knee into your chest. Firm your toes towards your knee and cross your right ankle over your left thigh. Yes, elbows plant back into the floor, lift your hips up. Exhale, release down. Uh, return your right foot to the floor. So we'll go side to side. Return your right foot to the floor. Take your left knee in. Cross left knee over right. Press the knee away and then lift your hips up. Settle your bottom down. Uncross. And we're going to just go side to side. So you'll do three more cycles. Right knee, lift, exhale, lower, settle the foot to the floor. Left knee, cross ankle, inhale, lift, exhale, lower down. Right ankle over left, lift, lower. Left over right, lift and lower. Okay, we're coming to the right side. Bring the right ankle over the left thigh. And we'll stay down for a few breaths. Bring your hands to your pelvis and notice if you're listing to the right or to the left, if you're leaning to the right or to the left. See if you can make an even impression of your pelvis, as if you were on uh, making a butt print in wet sand. You want to have an even level of depth in the left and in the right. Reach that right knee away. Bring your elbows back to the earth, head to the shoulders down. Inhale, lift up, and we're going to stay for about five breaths. Reach your right knee away. Draw your tail away. Push your left foot down and drag your left heel towards your left sit bone. Lower down. Now, keep your foot right, foot right where it is. Oh, too many rights there. And pull Using your left knee, pull your right thigh towards you. Again, no hands. Let this just be your body. If it's feeling a little cozy, sometimes some side-to-side -side shifting can help to release some of the sense of tension in that space. You might rock a little bit back and forth as well, head to toe. That might soften the fibers of muscle right there. And then we're going to come to a place where we can comfortably breathe. If you need to bring the foot back towards the floor, you do that. Settle the left foot back to the floor. Uncross the right leg. Okay, left knee into your chest. Cross left ankle over right thigh. Push your right heel down into the floor and imagine it's an isometric, so there's no movement. Press down into the floor and draw it back towards you as you push your left knee away. Then check in. Is one side of your pelvis making a big, bigger impression in the wet sand that you're imagining? Or do you have an even sense there? Push down into your feet. Push down into your elbows and your shoulders. Inhale, lift up and reach that left knee away. Pick up the belly button, pick up the tailbone, keep breathing. Good. 
release your bottom down on the exhale. Keep your left ankle on your right thigh and start to draw the right knee in towards you. If it's feeling a little tense in there in your left hip, you might do a little massage side to side or you might do a little forward and back. We just want to soften the tissues. We want to think about those spaces where we're encountering tension beginning to soften. Find that space you're going to work in. Continue to pull the right knee in towards your chest as you're pushing the left knee away. And then lower right foot to the floor, left foot to the floor, and let's pause. Notice any sensation that is flowing out of your body here. I'm going to scoot out of the way of these folks so they can turn to the right, but we're all going to come up to a seat and then all the way up to standing. So roll to the right, ease yourself around. Swirl up to a seat, and then we are coming up to, as promised, standing. Make sure that you have a towel nearby that you can um, experiment with. Is it more dropping? It's more dropping, yes. Now go ahead and drop. Yeah, go ahead and drop. So undo your towel, unfold that fabulous towel, drop it down, and stand on it with your right foot, okay? You can let your left toes be um, just against the floor slightly, or you can lift your left leg up. We just want to feel the right foot. If you can, you're going to sway your weight a little bit to the right and a little bit to the left. So you'll do that either with your foot elevated or your uh, left foot on the floor. Okay, and then do a little forward and back Ooh, without falling over. Hopefully. Okay. Now set your left foot all the way down. Step your right foot off. Make a new mess. So we want to not have a predictable surface for our left foot. Step on with the left foot. Your right toes can be down on the floor or you can lift your right knee off. Up. Sorry. And then we're going to find a little movement right and left, a little swaying. So you're just shifting the weight around. I just want the intrinsic muscles. I want the small muscles of the foot to start to turn on as you're playing here, okay? And then maybe a little forward and back weight movement. Come off, step your right foot down, Step your left foot off and kick your mess off to the side. Stand on both feet. Spread out your toes. Make the outside edges of your feet more parallel to the outside edges of the mat. Hmm. Bob into your knees and straighten your legs. We're going to bend down towards chair pose and stand on up. Inhale up. Exhale, sink towards your chair. Inhale up. Exhale, sink towards your chair. Inhale up. Exhale, sink towards your chair. Stay, lift up your belly. Draw the center of your chest up. Shoulder blades onto the back. Maybe shift your weight back a little bit. Oh, yes. Now we're going to turn this into a forward fold. So take your hands to your hips and lean forward. I want your chest to come to your thighs. If your chest does not come to your thighs, you bend your knees more until your chest does. If it's still impossible, then I want you to broaden your feet. Take your feet wider than hip distance so you can get your chest towards your thigh. Now mobilize your neck. Nod your head, yes. And shake your head, no and encounter your feet with the floor. So stretch those toes out, broaden across the ball of your foot, broaden across your heel. See if you can take the weight 
of your body towards your big toes. So we're spilling the weight forward. Push your calves forward and see if you can keep your chest on your thighs as you take your legs straight -er. The one thing I want you to make sure you have in this sequence here is the chest on the thighs. So you're gonna keep your, your chest and your thighs encountering each other the whole way. Whatever your journey, it may mean your knees do not get very straight, okay? Hands to your hips, inhale, come up, reach up with your arms, grab your right wrist, lean over to the left. Inhale, come up, grab your left wrist, lean over to the right. Inhale, come up, exhale, release your arms down. So we're going to do a little bit of work there in that um, chair pose forward fold, okay? I know Carrie Ann is super excited about this idea. Super excited. Okay, so I'm going to do a little demo. So I'm going to come into the, into the moment here so you can see what's going to happen. We're coming down and I'm connecting my belly with my thighs here. I've got lots of space between my feet. Hands can touch the ankles, they can touch the thin shins, and then we're just going to stroke towards straighten the legs and bend. You'll notice my belly and my thighs are in deep relationship the whole time as I'm mobilizing. So it may mean that your mobilize is not very big, yes? There's a, maybe an inch up and an inch down, and an inch up and an inch down. It may be way bigger. Right? Some of us are going to have a wider range of motion then. Okay. So, from feet, outer hip distance. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, bend into your knees. Take your utkatasana. Arms can reach forward or hands can come towards your hips. Lean forward. Connect your belly and your thighs. Hands touch wherever it, you feel safest. Lift your bottom, straighten-ish your legs. Keep the chest and the thighs. Inhale, bend your knees. Exhale, tip your sitting bones towards the sky. Inhale, bend your knees. Exhale, tip the sitting bones towards the sky. Inhale, bend your knees. This time we're going to go to the place where you're feeling stuff. Oh, maybe that's way back at seated. Broaden your feet. Broaden your knees. Draw your inner thighs away from you. Lift your sitting bones a little bit more. Your ischial tuberosity. Two more breaths. Come up slow, bend your knees, hands to your hips, climb up slowly. Yeah. Hmm. <sighs> okay, I want to work into doing some of the similar work we did yesterday with the chair, but now today without a chair, giving us a little bit more action into the quadriceps because we need to get that as we're working towards forward folds, we're really tightening the muscles that do this knee into chest business. But we also need to have the opposite thing as well. So we're gonna start simply, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a, another um, quick moment because I'm gonna turn myself to the side. You may want the wall, okay? I'm gonna bend the right knee. I'm gonna think about tracking the tail down, and then I'm just moving the hip joint, okay? So the knee is moving back behind me, and then I'm drawing together. The knee is gonna move back behind me, and then I'm drawing together. That's the work, okay? So if you need something to hold on to, find it. Preferably not your mother, if you happen to have one in the room. Okay, so we're gonna <laughs> either uh, balance or hold on. Bend the right knee. Gather the knees towards each other, send the tailbone down, engage with the belly. Um. We're going to try not to lean forward as we kick the right knee back and bring it together. Inhale, reach back. 
exhale together. Inhale, reach back, exhale together. We're gonna go two more. Inhale, reach back, exhale together. Inhale, reach back, exhale together. Last one. I lose two. Oh well, we did six. We'll have to remember that on the other side. Okay, other side, weight goes into the right foot. Make sure your kneecap is lining up with those second, third toe spaces. Bend your left knee, hands on your hips or right hand to the wall. Inhale, reach back, exhale, knees together. 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 And here's the bonus, inhale, and exhale, step the feet together. Now we'll take it to a lunge. So I'm gonna have these folks come towards the front edge of the mat. Step your right foot back. And we're gonna essentially be doing that same work, but now we're in a closed chain because the right foot is down behind us. Dip into your back knee, so bend your back knee. Yeah, and draw the tailbone straight down. So we're looking to uh, feel a stretch along the front of the right belly. Inhale. As you exhale, kick your right leg straight. Inhale, bend your right knee. Exhale, kick that right leg straight. If. Inhale, bend your right knee. Exhale, kick it straight. That's three. Inhale, right knee. Exhale, kick it straight. So this one should be staying stationary. It's the back one that we're moving. Oh. Inhale, bend the knee. Exhale, kick straight. See if you can keep that leg straight, track the tailbone down a little bit more, pick up the belly, and then maybe you bend into your left knee a little bit more. So no, that's the back knee. Keep the back knee straight. Yeah. Good more. This one's Carrie's favorite sequence. She wants to do this every day. Inhale. Exhale, step your feet together. Oof. You know, if you've been hiking in the foothills, or if you have genetically tight hamstrings, or if you have fabulously tight and strong legs. Okay, step your left foot back. Bend into the back knee. Yes, draw the tail straight down, and you can get that push-pull action. So this is yesterday, if you were with me, we had the forward thigh on the chair seat, and the back knee was bending down at 90 and sort of hanging off of the chair. So as we go towards straight, we're keeping the right leg steady and just bending and extending the back leg. Bend as you inhale, exhale, kick straight. We'll do three more. Bend as you inhale, exhale, bend, and there we go. Now stay, and maybe you move more into the forward knee as you kick back through the back leg. And maybe your body says, that's enough. And so hands to hips and step yourself forward. Okay, we're gonna take this one towards a forward fold as well. But we're gonna start, so we did all the bend and extend in the back leg. Let's do some bend and extend in the forward leg. So we'll start towards the front edge of the mat. The right foot will go back as before. And this time we're gonna bend and extend in the forward leg. So I'm gonna really think about, tail, um, I'm gonna start in the right leg. So we're gonna go ahead and step back with the right. Take the right leg towards straight while tracking the tailbone down. Extend your left leg. What's gonna be interesting here, perhaps, is the wobble of the left leg, right? We wanna make sure that we're not doing a lot of fishing around with the knee as we bend and extend. Three more times. Inhale, extend. Exhale and bend. Inhale, extend. Exhale and bend. Inhale, extend. 
bend the knee, step forward. Am I gonna do that now? Yeah, uh, we'll do the second side. So come towards the front edge of your mat, left foot goes back, bend into the left knee, take the tailbone down, straighten out, kick back through the left leg, and then extend the right knee. Make sure the knee isn't doing a lot of fishing around, that it goes in a straight line, as if somebody were grabbing it and pulling it. Inhale, extend, exhale, and bend. Inhale, extend, exhale, and bend. Really watch that knee. Inhale, extend, exhale, and bend. Inhale, extend, bend the knee, step forward. So this is where the forward fold comes in. Right foot goes back. Bend into the back knee to find that engagement into the forward thigh. Take the tailbone down, lift the low belly. Straighten out the right leg. Straighten out the left leg, that's the forward leg. And then hinging at the hips, bring your hands to your thigh as you lean forward. Yeah, notice when the shoulders start to rise, when the chin starts to reach, so deepen the chin back, pull the low ribs back, shoulder blades onto the back, two more breaths. Carry on, see if you can reach through the crown of your head. Yes, nice job. And bend your knee, inhale, draw yourself upright, step your feet towards one another, beautiful. Inhale, exhale, take your left foot back, We'll bend into the back knee, the left knee, track the tailbone down, lift the low belly up, kick that left leg towards straight, kick the right leg towards straight. Inhale up tall. Think about creating this fullness in the back body. Then hinging at the hips, lengthen forward. Hands will come to your right thigh. Nice. Think about drawing the chin, the neck long lowering the shoulders, reaching up through the back of the rib cage, breathing. Two more, in and out. Bend into your forward knee, inhale, upright, exhale, feet together. Let's just visit it. We're going to visit them um, in fairly rapid succession, three times each, and then we're going to see if we can go a little deeper into the fold. Okay? So inhale, and I'll come into um, I'll come into the dance with y'all. Inhale, exhale, right foot back, dip, straighten both legs, exhale, lean forward. Inhale, bend your knee, glide up. Exhale, left foot back. Dip the knee, straighten both legs. Lean forward. Bend the knee, step up. Inhale, exhale, right foot. This time, go ahead, go towards your straighten. Exhale, towards your lean. Inhale, up. Exhale together. Left foot. Straighten. Exhale, lean. Inhale up. Exhale together. Completely left foot to here. One more time. Right foot. Straighten out. Lean forward. Bend the knee. Inhale upright. Exhale together. Inhale. Exhale, left foot, straighten, glide forward, bend the knee, upright, feet together. So the option now is to come hand towards that thigh as we're coming into the forward fold, or perhaps bringing the hands towards the shin, or maybe to frame the foot at the floor, okay? The temptation is going to be to let the back leg hip come really high 
and the spine to round. So we're gonna watch that as we go through. So let's all start at the front edge of the mat. Thank you, Carrie, that was a good demo. Inhale, really tall. Exhale, take your right foot back. Do the little lob, find the track of the tailbone. Engage, pull the right hip forward, left hip back. Straighten the right left leg, lean, lengthen forward. Notice the moment that the right hip starts to roll up towards the sky. Think about that hip crease looking down towards the floor. <coughs> yeah, so you may not go very far, right? You may encounter a lot of tension and not be able to go very far. Would you like to block? Oh, well, it's, it's, I think it's a matter of balancing out the knee extension. Yes. If I push too much, it's Yes. It goes to hyperextension and it's... Yes. Doesn't feel good. Yeah, so Carrie's noticing that her forward knee is going towards hyperextension, so she's going to play with that for herself, not hyperextending there. And then we'll all come out of the fold. Step up. Inhale. I really like blocks for this one. And let's take the left foot back. Straighten out the right leg. Now, yeah, draw forward from that left hip crease. Nice job. Lengthen forward. Good job, Briars. Hands to thigh or to shin, or maybe if you have blocks, lucky enough to have those. It's really easy to drop the forward, the forward leg hip. So think about pulling that space back. Oh, there's lots of yoga concentration going on. Make sure your breath is still moving in your body, yeah? Woo, and then we're there. Get out of it. Bend your knee, climb up. Ground, right? Those are big poses. Okay. It is 11.52 and we're coming down to a seat. So sit down, you may um, find a towel. I have to refold here, these are folded lamps. And we're gonna take a couple of forward folds seated. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, left leg extending, right foot somewhere on the left leg. We're gonna go forward. So let's take the, a little bit of a twisty-wisty first, okay? Left hand beside your left hip. Push into those finger pads. Gather the inner groins, ground your bottom, okay? Then take your, uh, let's see, shoulder blades onto your back and turn your belly button a little bit towards the left. Your right hand can come to the outside of your left leg. And just use that push-pull action to start to turn yourself a little bit to the left. It's not a big twist. It's just a little mobilization. Okay. Now, come up. Neutral. We're going to start to creep the right hand down the left leg. It may not get very far. That's okay. Left hand can join it. If you're feeling a lot of tension in your back, I want you to bend up your left knee so you can get a little bit more of that anterior tilt of the pelvis happening, a little bit more of the, so the pelvis wants to be here, posterior, we're wanting it to go towards an anterior space. Grow forward. And in forward folds, it's a good idea to let yourself turn inward. Maybe close your eyes, definitely soften your jaw. Notice where you are efforting. Climb up. Use your right hand, scoop your right knee up. Draw your left knee in. Place your foot. I'm gonna start with that little twist. So right hand's outside your right hip. Roll the right shoulder back. Left hand's coming to the outside of the right leg. Roll both shoulders back, little twist. 
Think about bringing your throat back, your ribs back, lifting the belly, inhale. Exhale, come forward. And then we'll let the left hand swoop down the right leg. May not get very far, all right? Think about the pelvis. We want the pelvis, the pelvic bones themselves, the sacrum, the ilium, to be leaning forward. Soften your jaw, lengthen the back of your neck. Close your eyes, move full into your body. Climb up. Nicely done. Okay, let's take a variation of a forward fold, but not leaning forward. So the hands are going to come back behind us. Put your feet on the floor. So it's going to be shades of that hip stretch we did earlier. So you may need to back your feet out a bit because we're going to draw the right knee into the chest and cross right ankle over left thigh. And then the work is how close in can you get yourself? Yeah. And if it feels like I can get myself in pretty close, then you might choose to wrap your arms around your leg. Then C. If you can use this hub, the draw back of your elbows to get your chest to come higher. Make a forward fold. Okay, release your hands down. Extend your left leg away, uncross the right. Soften both knees. Left knee into your chest. Cross left ankle over right thigh. Notice those sit bones, right? So this is again, shades of the earlier pose. We were noticing if we got heavy on one side versus the other. And then see how far in you can sneak your right foot. And you may notice that your shoulders are coming up towards your ear. That must mean you've gone too far, okay? If you've got a lot of space, maybe you wrap yourself in a little hub. Feel the desire to rock back or the desire to fall forward. So if you can lift up the belly, draw your chest forward, take lots of space along your spine. Release your hands back to the floor. Extend your right leg away, extend your left leg. I feel like the humidity turned on in here. Okay. One more, let's take a twisting one, okay? So we'll come back to that genre shushasana space, right foot along the left leg, and then you're gonna turn your right knee back behind you a little bit. Okay? So it's more like you're in the, a wide leg format. Then the left hand is gonna glide down the left leg, and the right arm is just gonna reach 180 degrees away from it. Push your right knee down towards the floor. Push both sitting bones down. Lift your belly. Reach out with your right hand. If you know another place to take this pose, you can take it. But I like this spot right here. Inhale, draw yourself upright. Scoop up that right knee, swing it around. Draw your left heel in towards your groin. Broaden the knee out to the left. And you sort of shift the body, it's all good. Right hand is gonna glide down the right leg. Reach your left arm 180 degrees away from your right hand. Push your left knee down, your left ischial tuberosity, lift your belly up, roll your shoulder blades under your back. Breathe. Inhale, come upright, scoop the left knee 
around, draw yourself forward. And now, truly, woo you get to lie down. Carolina has been waiting and waiting and waiting. Okay. However, remember that flointing we did early? It's floint time, my friends. You get to floint yourself oh. around the town. So draw your right knee into your chest. I'm flointing. We're going to floint. Draw your right knee into your chest, slide your hands behind your right thigh, and extend your right leg. Oh. Yeah. Now, uh, extend your ankle joint, point your toes away, scrunch them up, and then uh, flex the ankle joint, pull it back at you, extend your toes. And now let's see if we can extend the ankle joint but keep the toes flexed. Ooh, flanking time. And you're just gonna move through that cycle. And I know it doesn't feel like a just. We're gonna move through that cycle a few times. So here we go. Pull everything towards us. Curl the toes up, extend away, open the toes out, pull the ankle towards us, flex the toes. Keep the toes flexed, but extend the ankle joint. Flaunt your foot. Flaunt your pointy foot. Okay, one more time. Draw towards you, push your heel away, scrunch up the toes, point the whole thing away, open your toes, Floint. Mm. Oh yeah. Draw your right knee into your chest. Bend your knee. Extend your right foot to the floor. Maybe it goes all the way down. Maybe keep the knee bent. Left leg into your chest. Hands behind the thigh. Extend the ankle joint. Scrunch up your toes. Ooh. Extend your ankle. Oh. That one. I'm feeling that one right there. Open your toes, floint your foot, draw the toes back towards your shin, curl them up, extend away, open the toes, pull the toes back at you, but keep the ankle going, flex the ankle, crunch the toes, extend the ankle, Open the toes and then flight. Draw the toes back at you. Last time, scrunch. Extend the ankle joint. Extend the toes. Flex. And release. Settle down. Okay, because we have those towels, they may be in an odd state, but because we have them, I'd like to give ourselves that supported bridge pose. So grab your towel or a block. I think we've got blocks around here. And I have a head towel. Yes, you might. Inhale, lift your hips up. And exhale, slide your block or your towel underneath your bottom. And then release your sacrum to the huh, to your prop. Let your arms fall out at your sides. So when we do all of this forward folding, all of this closing of the angle from the knee, uh, from the knee to the belly, then we need to do some of the opposite. So this is this opening out space. Okay. For some bodies, it will feel good to do what Carrie Ann just did which is extend the legs long. I recommend if you do that, that you keep your ankles a little bit active so that your legs are still stretching. You still feel that line across the belly. No. Push the big toe mounds away. Oh yeah, so you can deepen the anacrines now. But you can also just rest with the knees bent, feet flat on the floor. And we're going to take two more minutes here. So get into that space of enjoyment, right? This week um, we're on the element of yoga that is contentment, samatosha. 
And it's a lesson towards practicing contentment within our own bodies. It goes right along with that idea of enough that we practiced yesterday, with that element of brahmacharya, which is a non... It's evading me. I think it's a non-grasping. That's a paragatha. I'll come to it. But it's uh, brahmacharya is to be more like Brahma, more in that space of higher mindedness. And so to not be in the space of greediness, to not be in the space of grasping for lots of things, but to allow ourselves to be in the space of enough and to feel contented with our lot in life. That doesn't mean we don't get to work hard. But it does mean that we are allowed to enjoy the fruits of our breath, of each sensation. Go ahead, if your legs are extended, bend your knees. Push your feet into the floor wherever you're at. Lift your hips up, slide your prop out from under. Um, extend your legs away, extend your arms away. Imagine you're in a great cosmic tug of war. So somebody's yanking on your ankles and somebody else is yanking on your wrists and resist both movements. And then we'll take a twist to so draw your right knee into your chest. Use your left hand and guide your right knee over to the left. Five breaths, yes, of your choosing. In and out. Our poem today is Mother, A Young Wife Learns to Sew by Geraldine Connolly. Go ahead and switch sides of your twist. Drawing your left knee in, using your right hands to guide it across. And you might take it all the way towards the floor or you might take it part way and go, yep, yeah, that's enough. Five breaths, and then you can release yourself. Any other poses that you need before Shavasana, allow those to happen. Mother, a young wife learns to sew, by Geraldine Connolly. Those were the days. She slipped a silver needle, neat as a minnow, through a piece of cloth. It went swimming up and out of the river of fabric, guided by her hand. Was that glance up? at the open window, a happy gaze for a cry to be outside running free through carpets of garnet vines or azalea blue, not pushing the steel point of an instrument through linen, not putting hooks and loops and buttonholes in order, staying to the task, keeping on, base and stitch as the world burned and glittered and she held on to purpose and industry. And we're gonna leave this young wife and mother at her purpose and industry and take ourselves right into the field of bright blue azaleas. Extend your legs and your arms away. And I'll move us right into that pre, uh, progressive relaxation we have experienced so far this week in our practice. I'm gonna mention a body part. I want you to embody your body part, feel it brilliantly, and then let it go as completely as you possibly can. Right great toe, left great toe. Right second toe, left second toe. Right third toe, left third toe. Right 
Rindho. Left, Rindho. Right, Pinky Toe. Left, Pinky Toe. Sole of the right foot. Sole of the left foot. Top of the right foot. Top of the left foot. Right ankle, left ankle, right shin, left shin, right calf, left calf, top of the right knee, top of the left knee, back of the right knee, back of the left knee. Top of the right thigh, top of the left thigh, back of the right thigh, back of the left thigh, right hip and butterfly, left hip and butterfly, low belly, low back, middle belly, middle back. Right side of the rib cage, left side of the rib cage, right shoulder, left shoulder, right upper arm, left upper arm, right elbow, left elbow, right forearm left forearm, right wrist, left wrist, right palm, left palm, back of the right hand, back of the left hand, right thumb, left thumb, right index finger, left index finger, Right middle finger, left middle finger, right ring finger, left ring finger, right pinky finger, left pinky finger, top of the right shoulder, top of the left shoulder, whole neck, front of the throat, whole jaw. Tongue, roof of the mouth, right ear, left ear, right cheek, left cheek, right nostril, left nostril, right eye, left eye, eyebrows. Center of the forehead, crown of the head, back of the head, whole head, whole body, whole body, whole body. Feel this whole body here, fully embodied and fully relaxed. Begin to wave your fingers and wave your toes. Circle in your wrists and in your ankles. Draw your knees into your chest. Hug your knees in. Roll over to the right side of your mat. Press down into the floor with your hands. Let your head move last. Come on up to a seat. Hmm.
take in the world. Bring your hands together in front of your hands. Exhale and bow your head. The light within me celebrates that same light in each and every one of you. Thank you for your practice. Namaste. Thank you guys for being here. Hope you have a wonderful day. Bye. That was pretty cool.